Hello everyone, this is Automatic back once again, and today we're once again playing a more Roblox. And you probably might notice that we're playing a game called Rails Unlimited, which is possibly, if not, one of the most famous um, Roblox train games. Um, and, uh, oh, well thanks dude, you just ruined that beautiful shot. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> oh. Well, anyways, um, we are playing, of course, Rails Unlimited today in Roblox, and you all, you are, you all are probably wondering why have I been playing so many train things, like so many train games. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I love trains, and for that Engines of Union Pacific series, I. I promise I am going to get to that, but I just, I'm underestimating how much, like, effort I'm going to have to put into it. Not to mention, I still have to get, like, editing softwares that I, that are suitable to do it. And I, that are suitable enough to, you know, mix the stuff that I want. Well, anyways. <clears throat> now that, now, just to let you go. J just to let you know. Now with that, now with that all out of the way, I, like, we are of course playing Rails Unlimited, and I'm actually this is actually someone I actually was inspired by to actually play this game. Well, I, I just got interested into playing the game because I saw him play it. Um, a guy named a, a YouTuber named Jesse Gillette played this game, and uh, well, it interested it interested me quite a bit. I usually try to ignore Roblox train games because they usually don't look as good. As you know, train simulator games that I'm used to, but it's really, it's actually really high quality, even just although even though it's Roblox. All right, now with that out of the way, um, let me just adjust my screen. Okay, <clears throat> today we actually are checking, we are actually checking out something really unique. We are checking out one of the newest engines in this game. It's actually Amtrak's. Dash 8 locomotive. We got all three versions. We got phase 3, 4, and 5. And we're going to go through each of them. And I'm actually going to explain them. Now, I know what you're thinking. Otto, I thought you were interested, I thought you were interested in Union Pacific stuff. I'm interested in other things. No, I'm not just interested in Union Pacific. I'm also interested in, like, other, in, like, locomotives such as, like, Amtrak locomotives. Now... We're going to basically drive around in the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the Dash 8, um, Amtrak locomotive. We're going to start out with, with, um, the Phase 3 one. Uh, we're not going to go anywhere. We're just going to drive around. Um, So it's a it's pretty nice looking actually. It's basically a regular dash eight, only it's got you know instead of six axle trucks, it's got four axle trucks. Well, four or you know two on one bogey and two on the other, and we are in the phase three of course, and or actually at the time these are actually quite well known as the uh, the Pepsi can locomotives because they look like. Their, 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 their livery is kind of like, like a Pepsi, um, livery. Anyways, um, this actually is, um, one of my new favorite locomotives for this game now. Um, I'm going to go into, change my FOV point of view. Get rid of that. Now, um, to talk about the Dash 8, um, ramp, like the Amtrak Dash 8, it's, um, like I said before, it's basically like almost a regular Dash 8, only it's basically modified for passenger service. Uh, they were built to replace the, uh, the F40PHs and the F40PHRs, and, um, well, we could, well, to be honest, their service didn't really last long, their, their, their passenger service didn't really last as long as, um, Amtrak thought, because they then came out, they, because General Electric came out with their, um, their, their now, um, famous P40DC 
or later on P42 DC, which was of course it's the most common used Amtrak locomotive probably to this day. But yeah, um, these locomotives they still are being used even to this day. The um, these Dash 8 locomotives. They're actually really good. Um, they look really cool. I like how they got the the uh, the like the um. They're they're built for passenger service, but they are basically a a diesel locomotive that was basically ripped off of a freight diesel. Looks kind of like a, well, of course it's why why it's of course called a dash eight. What am I saying? So we're going a hundred miles an hour. Um, you can't see it because it's cut. It, it's out of it's out of the um, shot with the the screen because I'm using the phone. And uh, oh, and there and there we go. Pa oh, okay. I was about to say um, we're passing someone that was about to drive an E60, but never mind. All right. Um, now it's time to do one of the best parts about messing around with these locomotives derailing them and I see a perfect op I see a perfect opportunity right there yeah <laughs> up it went down in a burning wreck that's cool Yep, okay, so that was phase three. There's two other phases, um, which are, which are also, um, of course, Amtrak, there's, of course, also Dash 8 Amtrak locomotives, but these are in the other phases. We're now going to do phase four, and I'm not going to do the inbound, um, con like, version of this train, because it's just the cab car, which I actually don't like. Uh, let's start it over. Let's, uh, actually, no. Let's start it. Let's start it over, Ryan. So this is the same locomotive. Only difference is it's in the Phase Four livery, which actually looks kind of uh, dull in my opinion. Doesn't look as cool as the uh, Phase Three. But either way, we're going to drive it. Oh, I also should um, test out the horn. Horn's pretty good. I, I actually have tested this out a whole bunch of times. And actually, what, there's a cool feature that on the front that I should have done on the other one. Um, if you press, press the bell button, which is B, the um, the bells actually, or the lights that um, are for the bells actually flash. That's a cool feature. Um, so yeah, um, pretty much, yeah, same locomotive, same consist, not much is different. Let's derail this thing. Well, we've blocked the railroad crossing um, with our train consist. Yeah, that's gonna be one heck of a mess to clean up. All right, so now there's o there's only one more um, one more um, scheme to show. Uh, there's the phase five, which is our, which is the current, um, Amtrak paint scheme. Um. Sorry, the Orion again. So, so yeah, um, this is the phase five, and this is the, probably the version you're going to see, um, throughout, um, most um, Amtrak yards, like most yards that are owned by Amtrak, are, are these um, Dash 8 locomotives that are that they own. They're mostly painted in this 
um, paint scheme. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to, oh, oops, oh crap, oops, ah, uh, what, what happened, ah, uh, oops, I can't see, I can't see, <laughs> there's flames in my eyes, what happened, <laughs> oops, <laughs> looks like I, um, I tried to get onto the. <laughs> Whoops. I tried to get onto the. Uh... Oh crap, here comes an E60 behind him. Behind me. Well, there goes that E60. Right, let's try that again. This time, let's um, maybe hit it a bit sooner than that. <laughs> Wow, that was really stupid of me. <laughs> All right, so let's get this locomotive onto the onto the main line, and we're ready to go. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I meant to do. I didn't mean to derail. <laughs> I derailed too soon. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of looking at it, something like this. But I mean, it's cool either way. But it just looks strange seeing a locomotive like this. Pulling a a passenger train. Like, these are these look like they're more. They're, or, they were of course built for freight, but it just looks so weird seeing them pull a passenger train. Well, either way, I think I know the perfect place. Another perfect place to derail, and that's right over there. Just over this here, right here, and boom. Perfect. And the cab car always survives, it looks like. Alright. <clears throat> that was fun showing off the um, the new um, Amtrak Dash 8 um, locomotive in this game. Um, and I actually hope um, the YouTuber Jesse Gillette does a, a review on this train in the future. Um, so, hopefully soon. And, um, yeah, um, I'm going to now be um, going now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed me playing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play um, Rails Unlimited. Um, in Roblox, I, um, hope you guys, um, like trains as much as I do, and, um, I, um, will see you guys hopefully again soon. So, with that being said, this is Automatic, signing off.